Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to my channel and as you can see from the title we're getting a puppy! We are getting a puppy and I'll definitely put a timestamp if you want to just skip to the vlog portion of when we go to pick him up. But I did want to just take a brief moment to do a little bit of a puppy haul of everything that we did pick up and also what we are planning to take with us on the road trip. So let's get into it. So first things first, we did get a pet gate. I already put it up to block off the area where he's not allowed to go just to give him enough space to get used to as a puppy before we grant him more space. And then I'm going to move straight into toys, then food, then um, essentials for the house. The second part of the video that I filmed, it didn't really come out as well and I rushed a little bit through it. So I wanted to redo that part over again for you guys. So I'm going to go over his toys right now that we purchased for him. So I did take all the tags off of everything and started putting things up because of course, Today is May 19th, but we are set to actually leave for our trip to Iowa and we stay in Georgia. So it is going to be over 13 hours to get there. So we did want to make sure that we had everything put up and ready for his arrival because once the puppy gets here, of course, you don't have really time to do that. All your focus is now on him. So I don't have any of the tags on anything, but I do remember the brands and I will try to list as much as I can down in the description bar from what we got from Amazon. But we did also go into our local PetSmart as well and pick up things. So we got this rabbit and it's made by Tough. Um, the Tough brand where it's supposed to be more durable. So this is something we're hoping he'll be able to grow up with, especially once his baby teeth start falling out and he gets his adult teeth and some of the toys we will have to transition into adult toys for him. But we're hoping this one we don't. It's supposed to be made to be durable and long lasting. And I think it's so adorable as well because for greyhounds, as many of you know, that um, what they use for racing is a rabbit or the lure, the fake rabbit that they use. So we definitely wanted to pick him up F1 as well we just felt like it was fitting another thing we also got was skins this is just a little um, it's a flat super soft toy fox and then it has a squeaker in the nose and in the tail so this is something that he'll be able to play with and it'll be perfect for his baby teeth that he has in right now so nothing too hard but something he can still enjoy and chew on we also went and picked up a Kong, but we went with the Kong puppy line. So we just got him the classic one, but the puppy line is supposed to be a little bit softer for them. So it is able to fill it up with treats that he can figure out how to get out to help stimulate him, his mind, but also without making sure that he's not hurting his teeth or his little gums while, while he's going through his teething phase. All right, so I did push you guys back a little bit because I noticed it was I was very in your face. So another toy we also ended up picking up is I adore this and I hope he will adore it as well. It is this giant hedgehog. And as you can see from like a head size comparison, it is huge. And it makes this little like um, almost pig noise. <coughs> and it is so adorable. It has little squeakers and every um single paw and then it has a squeaker at the top as well i think he's gonna love it i feel like it's definitely gonna be almost bigger than him but a lot of people with greyhounds who said that their greyhounds love this toy so i was super excited when we was able to find this one at the store <laughs> another thing we got for it, especially for his teething we got these puppy keys they are a teething ring with keys and in the fridge beforehand so it's cold helps soothe his teething gums and it also helps with tartar removal which is really good because if you don't know greyhound's teeth actually needs to be brushed to um, help remove all the excess tartar that they that they have building up unlike other dogs they do have to have that extra care taken to their mouth every week to make sure that they don't later down the road have any diseases that form from their mouth from it not being taken care of so we did get this for him we did get some other things i will show later in the video for his teeth cleaning this is more 
more so of a treat instead of a toy, but I'm gonna just put it in this category. We did get the Ben and Bone Puppy Wishbone in bacon flavor. It's supposed to be softer for them to chew on. I'm assuming that once they really start chewing in saliva, it gets softer, because honestly touching it right now, I don't understand how it does, but it is the puppy edition, so it is supposed to be more sensitive. We did get this nice rope toy from PetSmart. It does have a tennis ball on one end and then a um, soft ball, almost like what the Kong is made out of on the other end. So they're both very soft. And of course we will keep an eye on him when he's playing with this rope toy. But we did want to just still include this in for him and make sure it's nice and durable. I ended up picking him up a tennis ball just so it is one of their tough ball strength dog toys. So of course when he starts getting older and able to really start picking it up and playing fetch we're able to do that with him. So we did get him a tennis ball so he can get familiar with it. I feel like this is just one of those pet staples that even if like out of all the toys you buy you're always just going to want to have a nice good ball for your dog. Then we got him is we got a big boy. We got the Kong Wubba. We ordered this off of Amazon. I did not realize this came with a giant squeaker in the middle. <laughs> I am definitely excited to see how that ends up working out, but I am not one to deprive my puppy of a good squeaker. So we did get this one in a size large instead of getting a smaller one. The next thing we got him was an interactive ball. We definitely did want to get something that not only is able to keep him distracted, but also help stimulate his mind. So this is one of those IQ balls that you put the treats in and then the puppy has to constantly paw it around and figure it out to get the treat to come out. Right now at this moment, we did want to get him a good variety from ropes to balls to um, plush toys that have stuffing and plush toys that don't have any stuffing just to get a good feel of what type of toys he's into. So the food that we will be feeding him while we transition him into dry, um, dry kibble will be the Blue Buffalo Wilderness. It is a higher protein. And another food we also got was Merrick's Puppy Place. So we did get that beef flavor and chicken recipe flavor. For treats, we did get the Blue Buffalo um, Soft Moist Training Treats in Savory Salmon. I don't know, I saw salmon, I was like, I love salmon. I want him to experience salmon as well. We also got the Blue Buffalo Wilderness Wild Bites and Duck. I heard great things about I and Love and You. So we did pick up their nice jerky bites and chicken and duck recipe. Now he actually might not start eating these as of yet. I did get a little excited when I saw this one but it is a harder consistency compared to the other ones. They are super soft, something that you can just, without much effort, squish it. So I know that's gonna be easy for him to chew and digest, but this one is a more of a jerky consistency. So I will have to break this one down and introduce it to him slowly to see if he's able to chew on it. We also did get him the Merrick Grain-Free Power Bites that's high in protein. We did pick up the Calm Easy Treat puppy recipe so this is just for that um kong puppy toy i showed you guys earlier just to be able to squeeze that around in it and he's able to lick that out and have a good time with that toy we also did pick up a bully stick the bully stick is really perfect because it is we wanted to get him a bone but we know we're not supposed to get him a bone early but a lot of people did recommend a bully stick because the more they chew on it the softer it gets so it's something a puppy will actually be able to enjoy so we did pick him up that and now we're going to move into all the essential stuff that we got for the house some things that i'm not going to show because it's actually still on its way to be delivered tomorrow right before it's time to leave so i'm hoping it gets here or we'll have to stop at the store and pick some things up but we did get him some collars and leashes so that way on a drive back for all the stops we have to make we're able to just take him out on his collar leash and also spend that time on that drive getting him used to having a new collar because we know he hasn't had one on so trying to get him used to that things first pet cleanup we picked up the nature's miracle this is highly raved about for all dog um, owners having nature's miracle to clean up any accidents and as we know we are going to try our hardest to keep him on a good schedule to make sure he doesn't have any accidents but he is still a puppy so accidents are bound to happen especially with making sure you're taking him out as much as possible as I mentioned earlier about his teeth, he does have to have a good dental routine. So we did end up um, picking up the Arm & Hammer 
try to control dental kit for dogs it does have a toothbrush that has a small bristle and then a larger um, bristle on the end it comes with a finger toothbrush as well and their baking soda formula toothpaste that is beef flavored but it's mint scent we did also pick up a couple of disposable finger tooth brushes for him and we did get it in the soft bristle and it is really soft and it's just something you put on your finger clean his teeth and then you can throw it away so we did get that we got this one from Amazon and it does come with 50 and it's just to reduce any tartar and plaque buildup staying on the same trend of his hygiene we did get him the I love pet head oatmeal paw butter and oh my gosh this smells amazing it has um, oatmeal shea butter aloe vera um, jojoba oil coconut oil olive oil and vitamins e and f and mango in it so it's just to make sure that his paws don't get dry or crack so we did want to make sure that we keep those very well i figured since i am going to have a full routine for him for keeping his teeth clean the least i can do is make sure his paws are nice and soft and aren't cracking and aren't hurting him we also picked up the aisle of the dog's tearless puppy shampoo and this shampoo smells amazing i am so excited to use this on him i do want him to be very comfortable with using shampoo and getting um getting his baths but this smells good we did pick him up some bath wipes some puppy bath wipes that gently cleans their delicate puppy coats it is in the scent of baby powder next thing as you know most pet owners get puppy pads so we do have a huge box that well it's not huge it only has 25 puppy pads but we did pull some out because right now we are packing his bag for once it's time to go travel so we did pull some out for the car ride also picked up a little poop bag dispenser with poop bags now this actually came in a set so it had two poop bag dispensers to be able to clip onto your leashes and also it comes with 750 poop bags for right now his water bowl is this cute one that we did get from Amazon and we also picked it up a slow feeder from Amazon so he doesn't eat too fast this is um, for his crate we did get him a crate with a comforter and I'll insert that clip now. All right, you guys, so that is the end of the puppy haul, but now for the long awaited traveling about over 15 hours to go get him and to show you guys our new Greyhound puppy, Sterling. So here we go. Okay, so I forgot to film a we are getting on the road. So we have been on the road for a while. We are almost to Tennessee. It is a 15 hour drive, 15 hours and a couple of minutes, give or take, where it makes it kind of pushing it closer to the 16 once you count really gas stops and stopping for food. So right now we are getting our first fill up at the gas station and then we are going to stop in Tennessee for a couple of hours we booked a hotel so we can just get some um, good night sleep and then hit back up on the road super early in the morning so we can get sterling a quick pit stop and we're gonna catch some z's and start up again in the morning hello we got all rested up and now we are back on the road
Greyhound puppy. We didn't really take any videos while we was there, just out of respect for the breeder and their home. And since we had to drive all the way back, we waited till we got home. But this is him. He is seven weeks old and a ball of joy. Well, Sterling had his first time in rain and he did not enjoy himself at all. And he's a little cold, so we bundled him up so he can get back comfortable. But rain is gonna have to be one battle. We're gonna have to fight another day.